Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's create a custom period slicer selection in Power BI. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. All right. These periods are not to calculate time intelligence. Rather, it is to change the X axis based on the period selection so that I will see only the selected period range in my line chart. I can choose to see MTD QTD last 15 days or any other custom selection date range on my X axis with an additional option all. Now, if you will select all from this slicer, below date slicer will be activated to choose again a custom date range. This slicer will be deactivated by default and it will only be activated if you select all from the slicer. So how to enable this functionality in Power BI? Let's jump into the Power BI desktop and create this amazing feature. I am recreating here the same line chart to show date-wise total sales. And I will also create a default date slicer before starting to create the custom period selection slicer. To create the custom period slicer, first of all, I need to create a custom table having all the required periods. And then I will apply my logic to make it functional. Let's create that. Table name, I will keep as custom period. And one by one, I will add all the required periods. I also need to add an ordinal column to sort the periods in an order. As said, I will apply a sort order based on the order column so that it will be in my predefined order. All right. Next, I need a disconnected date table, which I can create using distinct function on the date column of my existing date table. If you have activated auto detect relationships for your data model, make sure that this new table is disconnected. As that you can see here, only my sales table and the actual date table are connected and new date table is disconnected. Now I will add a slicer, which will have fields from period column of my custom period table, which will currently not work as expected. And we need to apply some workaround. As that you can see, I have created this slicer which currently will not show any action if you select any item from it. Now I am going to create a measure, which will filter my line chart based on the selections. Let's see how it will work. Name of my measure is period filter. And first of all, I will create a variable to hold the current selection from period column. Next is to add a variable which will validate if max value of the date is current month or not by using dates MTD function. Same way I can do for QTD period as well which will validate if the dates are within start of the quarter till today or not. To create variable for last 15 days, I need to use a filter function to check if dates are in last 15 days. The important thing to note here is, dates in my line chart is from the actual date, and I am validating this with the disconnected date table. You may be able to create this context even without using that new date table, but I am doing this way for the easiness of the expression. Here I have copied the same code for last 60 days period and can make the required changes. I also have all option, which will show all the dates from starting to end. Now in my return expression, I will just map my current selection to the equivalent variable. I am using order column because it was used to sort the period column. I can wrap the output within function to give output as one or zero for true and false. This is the expression which will be used to filter my line chart before that, let me enable single select for my period slicer so that it will have one selection always and then we'll show you how to activate my other date slicer if I select all from the period. Next is to select the line chart and add period filter measure in visual level filter and select show if value is one. Here we go. If you choose any period, this line charts X axis will show the corresponding date range. You can create any such custom date range based on your requirements. But for selection as all, I still need to create one for date filter to apply on this second slicer so that it will only pop up if I select all from the period. By default, it should be deactivated. Let me create that measure filter as well. This is very simple, where I just need to validate if selected value from period column is all or not. And same way I can use as visual level filter. Here again, I can apply show items when value is one so that it will only pop up for selection all. Since this is a slicer, I need to edit the interaction between these two slicers and choose filter option so that it will understand the selection from period slicer. Now our solution is ready to use 
and you can test the functionality to see if it is working as expected or not. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting topics in Power BI.